This isn't one of the more traditional rugby league rivalries, but these two capital city clubs share a healthy dose of interstate disdain for each other and have waged some memorable battles over the years. This season they have both struggled to score points, and win games, on a regular basis, but coaches Trent Robinson and Wayne Bennett are staying patient, publicly at least, and counting on their respective sides to be peaking at the business end of the season. The Broncos were upstaged by Manly last week, continuing the hot and cold form we've seen all year. Bennett will be hoping his side finds a little extra motivation as they generally do against Sydney's so-called glamour club. The Roosters put together their best performance of the season with last week's 32-0 rout of the Warriors, boosting their record to 6-4. They ain't swanning around at the top of the ladder like a lot of footy followers expected them to, but as it stands the Chooks are no doubt still confident they are top 8 material and still have ample time to push for a top 4 finish, if they're good enough. Key matchup, they are among the NRL's most naturally gifted athletes and it'd be great to see who would win a 100m sprint between James Roberts and Latrell Mitchell. The Broncos need the Jet to start firing on all engines, although he has probably been one of the more consistent performers in an otherwise inconsistent team. Mitchell has been a standout for the Roosters, even when they were struggling for form. He has established himself as one of the most exciting players in the competition and should have a zinger of a battle with Roberts. For the Broncos to win, they aren't going through the same losing issues as the Eels and Cowboys, but Brisbane might be the hardest team to follow form-wise. They seem to be the most talked about team among office tipsters everywhere as the side that's impossible to pick. The Broncos have generally responded well after a loss this season so expect them to be switched on with a much better attitude this week for the Roosters to win, everyone's saying the real Roosters stood up last week. But as dominant as they were in the 32-0 drubbing of the Warriors, the truth is the jury is still out until they string a few similarly powerful performances together. Don't be surprised if this clash is a low-scoring defensive grind. Broncos stat attack, Brisbane are averaging 18. Six points per game and giving up 23.3 points in defense. They let in six tries in the loss to Manly and their 48 missed tackles doubled the Sea Eagles total. Roosters stat attack. Roosters fans are probably feeling a little more comfortable than they were a few weeks ago, but there are still a few kinks to iron out. The Chukes lead the NRL in total errors, 130, and in effective tackles, 238. And another thing, Mitch Obuson will make his 250th appearance for the Roosters, becoming just the third player in club history to reach the milestone. The others are Roosters greats Anthony Minichiello and Luke Rickardson. Obuson turns 31 the day after the NRL Grand Final, 